<laughs> hey Peter, it's Edward. Hey. We're doing a Monday market analysis. Are we gonna do it at my house or are we doing it via Skype? Uh, I would say via Skype. I have a call with Val Watt. Okay. So you ready to get this rolling? Yep. All right, I'll Skype you. Bye. Hey Peter. Yo, how come your camera's not on? It's messed up. But I feel like. There he is! You're on candy camera! <laughs> He's eating too! I gotta get my lunch. Alright, we're doing market analysis. And uh, we are looking at homes that are on the market so that we can reevaluate a pricing strategy, right? Alright, I see Columbus and it's at 3350. Alright, so let's first talk about uh, showing activity. Uh, how many showings have we had for the past two weeks? Which is probably the last time we did an update, right? That's a lot of showings, man. You're talking Casey Mara, Paul Riley, James. This is since uh, pretty much end of June, right? Okay. And then uh, what kind of feedback are we getting? Improved Master Bath was the latest one. Um, fix it up more on June 27th from Diane. Yeah, yeah, she's not in good shape. Um, and is it vacant? No. It's I'm not. not. Until the end of this month. Okay, so we can't really do much about the condition, uh, even if we wanted to. You know, it's lived in, it's outdated, there's really nothing we can do about that. But it does talk to, it does speak to the value of that property compared to others. So let's look down the market to see how it compares with others on the market. Maybe we need to reflect that value in the price, right? Um, so I'm gonna pull up, um, this is Alexandria 22314. Now we did get someone who wanted to uh, rent it and then use it as short-term rental, which is a pretty cool idea. Uh, she even asked me if, if I would wanna partner with her because of my experience. Um, but I brought that up to the owner. I figure she, she'd have the short-term rental questions that I could answer and you couldn't. So I, I just went ahead and called the owner. She, she, she says she's thinking about it. I don't, it doesn't sound like she's too crazy about the idea. Um, but let me go ahead, let's just do a search. What, what are you coming up with as far as uh, a recommended price reduction? Let's, let's kind of take a look at that real quick. Um, three bedroom, right? So I'm just gonna go a three bedroom. Is this townhouse or single family? Townhouse. townhouse. All right. We're gonna do townhouse. I mean, it might be good to look at single families if single families are right in that price point potentially. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I'll say three or more bedrooms because it's gonna compete with anything that has three at least, at least three bedrooms. And let's see. And price. Let's put the price right now. It's at thirty-three fifty. Let's say 2,900 to 35. That's a pretty good wide price range, right? 23 matches. Okay, so I see ours here. It's about 1,400 square feet for 3,350. Uh, there's another one here that's similar in size in Old Town on Oronico. That's cheaper at 3,200. It's been on for about the same amount of days as us. So let's see how that compares. Um, you know, nothing too exciting. Uh, it doesn't look great. It has a nice little courtyard patio. Um, that looks like tile, dated tile, and maybe wood laminate. Versus Columbus. Oh, such a beautiful home. Wood floors. Uh, the appliance, a little dated. It looks more updated. Oh, it's got that wallpaper though. Yeah, kitchen, I mean the bathroom's dated. What do you think? Is the value there? <laughs> uh, okay, so we got 3350 for that. 3200 for what we just saw. All right, give us a thumbs up if you think our house uh, is priced right. And if not, don't give us a thumb down, just subscribe. <laughs> uh, 3500 is the next one at... One All right, what's up everybody? 
Uh, today it's muggy Wednesday and I'm in Arlington. This is uh, Arlington Commons here. Uh, I'm gonna be picking up a key from the tenant and then Joey is gonna be doing our walkthrough. We do a walkthrough, of course, when the tenant leaves to check the damages. Uh, in this case, most likely there's not gonna be any. It's gonna be a pretty easy one. And then uh, we're also gonna meet a vendor here, uh, Marco, the guy who did Cherrydale. Uh, you can check out that video up on top. Uh, but uh, he's gonna give us an estimate on a few things we're gonna run by him. So, productive day. So let's check out the inside of this building and figure out how to get in. Five hours later. Hey, okay, so we uh, have Peter here and we have Marco here. And we're just kind of testing keys right now. Uh, there's like one key on the outside, two keys on the inside, just a mess of keys. So we gotta figure out the keys, figure out the lock box, get people in here. Um, not working? Right. All right. Say hi to Peter. <laughs> um, okay, Peter, let's forego the key thingy for now. And since Marco's inside, let's show Marco some of the renovations we want to do. Bathroom. <laughs> bathroom and uh, the floor is fine. She okay, this is obviously one of the things we want to work on is uh, you can tell they have some work here. So rather than fix it, we're just going to update this entire like what you did at my house. Okay. The question is, do we want to keep the tub or just do a full, full shower? I don't know. Probably keep the tub is easier, I think, or what? The tub is, is I think it's good, but uh, I don't know if you guys want to. Oh, we can yeah. keep the tub, right? Yeah, we can keep the tub. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah it's not like yes. chipped or anything. So that'll save some money, right? Just keep the tub? Yeah. Um, the other question, let's see. In this room, I don't see anything that needs to be done. I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't like the look of that brass, so we'll probably leave that off. What do you think, Peter? Anger. Yeah. Um, great. The flooring is old, but it, it's good. I, I don't know if I would replace this. Uh, it's, you can save some money here. I know. Uh, let's go into the kitchen. You see anything here, Marco? This um, microwave. The uh, it doesn't work because something's wrong with the electrical outlet. So I don't know if something's going on. Do you feel comfortable messing with that or? Yeah, I can, I can, I just, I can check what's going on. Maybe, maybe if it's still only the, the electrical problem, maybe we can find a problem. Yeah. Did she say something about the electrical being tied to something down here? Or was that some other thing? Don't she think, yeah, maybe it's a garbage disposal? Yeah. Yeah, so it might be connected to this somehow. Uh, there's an issue. Yeah. Peter, if she could find out like who installed this. Maybe yeah, might I know we have warranty too. Okay. Yeah, I know we have. There was a work order for it, so yeah. I'm gonna ask you to deal with it. Okay. Anything else, guys? No. no? I think I think that's it. I just think we just want to update the bathtub area because of the water damage. Uh, all the blinds work, right? Mm -hmm. There's one thing I noticed. This uh, uh, screen's a little popped out. I don't know if it's warped or if it can just be popped back in, but that's like very minor. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so what we'll do also, if you're going to be working on the shower, Marco, yeah. what does this do? Yes, I do. It's warm. It's just kind of pushing that side now. It's not. I got charged for that, right? <laughs> 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 oh, you're hired. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but you remember that handyman checklist? You yes. did for Cherry now? Mm -hmm. We do that for every home. Okay. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll probably give you the checklist. Okay. But if you can, one thing that really helps us is, if, you know, the pictures, right? So yes. you can take, like, let's just say, you know, one a smoke detector. Just take a picture that you've replaced it or something like that. Yeah. Just check, go check through them all. That's pretty much it, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, so good, good deal. Fast. Um, so maybe this week you'll get back to me on something? Yes, yes, it's good. I'll give you it. All right, let's do it. All right, well, that's it. Thanks. What's up? Hello. <laughs> the newest Marcel purchaser, David. That's me. How's the house looking? Looks good. Nothing crazy. No, no crazy finds. Matt, say hi. Free <laughs> advertisement. How are you doing? <laughs> good, like the hat. Yeah, how about that? Everything looking good? 
Yeah. Oh. That would be monsters. I'm get a quick house tour. Kitchen. Did they fix the garbage disposal yet? He did. Huh? Oh, really? <laughs> wow, what was wrong with it? It's just locked up. I took a wrench. There's a there's a oh, on the bottom there. Pivot on the bottom, you put a wrench in it. Yeah. As long as it's not too jammed up, you know, I got it to spin. I had to reset the, the electric reset. There's cool. a reset, there's also a reset mm -hmm. button on that. So I reset that and then I could hear it was locked up, so I got a wrench, put an outer wrench on it and got it to spin and Stinks, ran a bunch of water in it, but huh. it's cleared out. <laughs> well, I'm sure she's thankful for that because she doesn't have to replace it. Yeah. She said she would. Put the water heater. And this burner. Did you, did you test it out? <laughs> yeah, it yeah, does work. You have to look at the. Oh, did we not turn it right? You didn't turn it in the right direction. High, 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 low. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. I <laughs> like that. Oh, no wonder. We had it on yeah. low. You're like, yeah. you're like hey, hey. I hate okay. when that happens. Yeah. Yes. This is the bathroom. <laughs> hey, I was there too. So, two people. This is the bedroom. And uh, these are right here in Fairfax. This is a one bedroom Penderview property. It's all copper water piping and PVC drain waste and vent piping. Uh, water heater, the build date's 2011. Okay, so it's 10, 10 years old, going on uh, 11. Uh, went through the panel, pulled the cover off. Uh, all the circuit and passages are correct in the panel. Uh, the grounding's correct, so no issues in there. All the panels, all the breakers match the panel. Uh, smoke detector um, was uh, the build date on that was like 2014, so that's good for another couple of years. The fan's pretty worthless in the bathroom. It's a recirculating fan. The opening and size correctly for microwave. You just got to make sure you get one that takes 15 amps. It's a, a, Convection ovens usually the combo convection microwaves usually take 20 inches. You plan on putting a microwave there or just yeah. stick with your no, okay. fire? And then the, the uh, unit uh, above the ceiling looks like it's, 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 it's uh, there's no date codes or anything, there's no manufactured data, at least none that are visually accessible. But it looks like it looks like it's uh, maybe original. And the unit outside, the AC unit's 2005. So we're getting, it's trained, so trains pretty good equipment, but usually, you know, 18 years is about average on, the, on that stuff. How old um, is it, you said? 2005. Oh, okay. On the, on the Central AC. That means uh, it could go any time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depending on how long it, how long Let's go for a 20 year. Let's go. Yeah, let's go for well, it. All right, let's, let's kind of recap where we're, what we've been doing. I guess for the past two weeks, just kind of hammering down the calls on the referral partner agents, right? Let's see what what's been um, what's been our results. Pretty good. We have called like probably I don't know 100 150 a, a week or something, and we're almost through the entire database. How much more we got to go? Just like another 30 to 60 or something. I think there's 11 or Texas, and then we'll be up. We'll be caught up to 2021. Wow, good job, ladies. Yes, yeah. pretty lot. much done. And Virginia is all finished. It's been done for a couple of days. Yeah. We so, only had four left the other day, so we knocked those out. Yeah. How did it feel, Batty, from your first call to to your last? Did you notice you feel a lot more confident? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely like it got a lot easier. Like I found like a groove, a rhythm, like the stuff to kind of like engage people first. I'm still not super good at like the conversational part of it yeah i was able to do it with a couple of people but it's still like something she was a lot better at the end and that yeah. kind of comes with time too like for me as a real estate agent i can kind of like connect with them on that real estate level mm -hmm. you know because I've, I've been there i bought and sold so there's some things that i can talk shop with a little easier um that just comes you know with some of that as well but no you guys are you guys did great um, I, I think the next thing I want to target now, and that's going to be like really high payoff because I think hitting the agents and um, letting them know about our promotion with the referrals, that's awesome. That's, that's our primary way of doing business. But this, another really good audience to talk to are owners, right? And like Valerie mentioned in the past, we used to do this pretty regularly, regularly where we would call owners 
systematically. And I mean, who doesn't like that? Like, you know, when, when you're a client of a business and they're calling just to kind of check in, make sure you're happy. Like if the hotel calls you, hey, Maddie, how's your room, right? Uh, how was the check-in, Candy? You know, that that makes you feel good. Like, oh, oh yeah, I'm glad you called. Like, can you bring up two extra pillows, right? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna call the owners, and we're gonna we're gonna do three things. The first is we're gonna give an update on the tenant. So the implied task is we'll call the tenant, and we're gonna report anything that's positive, any requests they have, or what's their renewal intent. So we'll go over that, like calling the tenant, hey, this is Candy just checking in, want to see how things going with the lease so far. Awesome. Anything broken that you need to report in the work order? I noticed that you're in the middle of a work order, and you know, so we can kind of look at that. Uh, you know, oh, I, I noticed this work order just got done. How'd that go? How was your experience? Uh, and, and that's all valuable feedback. Uh, hey, your lease is coming up. Have you thought about renewing? Do you know what you're going to do? So th that's all like super good intel, right? And we can take notes in the lease as we're doing that. And that's actually an update on the tenant too. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you know a good uh, landscaper, you know? <laughs> so a lot of good opportunities for that. Um, and then we call the owner. Hey, I just talked to your tenant, or hey, I left the message for your tenant, you know, check, check, check in on them. They, they, they love hearing that, right? That we're, we're, on top of, we're on top of all that. The second thing is, uh, we're gonna say, um, hey, look, uh, I just wanted to give you an update on the tenant. The second thing I just wanna do is see if you wanted to talk investments or talk about the market with the real estate broker, um, or, you know, with Edward, our real estate broker, and he can review your portfolio and discuss that with you. Just kind of making that offer, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, hey, on a high level, do you have any questions about your real estate investment? You know, whether you want to get new, uh, another one, uh, you want to know how the market is, you know, that type of thing. So we're just being proactive because a lot of them are asking us anyways. I'm sure it's on the top of their minds. Um, sometimes the conversation might be better for a property manager. Like if they're asking about, I don't know, something tenant related, but if they want to talk high level, just make the offer. Hopefully like one out of 10 or one out of 20 want to actually take you up on the offer because Otherwise, my calendar is going to get full real quick. Uh, Busy. Yeah. But I mean, those are all great opportunities, right? FaceTime or you know, phone time with them. And the last thing is just, hey, oh, by the way, you know, who is your real estate agent? And were you happy with them? Do you think that's uh, someone you could give us an introduction for? <laughs> and that's when Candy wins the contest. And mm. then, that's when you start pulling ahead. <laughs> because... Hopefully, I made a lot of calls yesterday. Did you made a lot of calls. Then? The, 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 I didn't get to talk to very many, but okay. I would um, talk to him about the referral program. Cool, cool. Well, just hang tight for a sec. Um, at this point, any questions? I don't think so. I think once we get into it, oh. oh. So, all right, uh, that was basically our business development uh, strategy for the next few weeks. We're gonna start targeting owners. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple of videos because we're gonna do a really cool thing uh, where we're gonna have a panel of property managers. Uh, I'm gonna uh, put together a Zoom with three other property managers from different companies. And we're just gonna talk shop for about 30, 45 minutes. And uh, during that video, as you're watching, you get to choose, uh, my subscribers get to choose who they wanna keep for the next panel discussion. So it's kind of like Survivor. You get to vote everyone else out and you get to keep the next one to be on the next discussion. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching uh, this vlog episode of Day in the Life for a property management company. Uh, and this is Maddie and Candy and myself, your favorite homeboy. <laughs>